Yo, 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 how you guys feeling today? I know it's a wonderful day to watch some Transformers Prime. So if you're ready, then hit that like. We're gonna rock this world. Watch my truck fall. So the Autobots and humans can take it all Let's get it Cause you know we're gonna win Autobots, let's roll out Yeah! Guys, just to put into perspective how long it's been since I've actually made a video Not a live Not a, not, not a live video Just a an actual freaking video Let's go ahead and look at let's go ahead and look at the channel content here. Okay? Videos. The last video I made was on May 15th. May 15th. It has been 8 days since I have made an actual video. So I'm excited to be back. Let's go. Ay Dios mío. That's wild. Not even going to lie. Ooh, it's bulky Optimus. My boy is right. What we have here is an experimental all-terrain expeditionary fighting vehicle. Woo! Designed by the finest engineers in our mask division. Woo! Thank you, Agent Fowler. Woo! This okay, will most certainly do. Oh! Oh my goodness! And he's getting a new vehicle form. A much cooler one than a dang 18 wheeler. Wait a god dang second, this quality is crap. Like, actual, actual nonsense. What the heck is he fighting the dang dragon in the intro now? Megatron's still the one running everything. The dragon can be defeated by ice. Because <laughs> it's a dragon. It's cold blooded. It's not going to be as big of an antagonist as Megatron or Return Soundwave. Return trajectory fluctuations have been stabilized. Ultra Magnus, we are ready to receive you. Heck yes! Let's freaking go! We didn't find much else in the rubble of the former base. You call this... Not much else. Woo! Let's freaking go. <laughs> Wheeljack! He almost killed you them. You could have caused serious damage. He almost freaking killed to them. To me! Ha! <laughs> to me! Uh, what in the Sam Hill? Really? A little help here? <laughs> what the heck? What were you thinking, soldier? I was thinking... Okay, I was not thinking that somehow me tossing a ball to my friend would lead to specifically the one area where that where that american soldier the friggin cia operative office was i was not thinking that i would just ram his office like there is so much room in this base to hit anything else why would i think it would go there thinking bull could catch that lob right allow me to make myself clear as Optimus Prime second in command, I have no intention of tolerating wrecker behavior. Bruh. Some things never change. Right. Stop being weird. You're you're the newbie, okay? Jackie. You are the newbie. Need I remind you that it was Optimus Prime himself who assigned me to command your wreckers back on Cybertron and get you loose cannons under control. 
he's, he's right. An effective combat unit begins with discipline. If you won't accept that, feel free to choose the path of least resistance, as you did before. Mm. If my ship were in a twisted wreck at present, I'd do that, sir. Dang. <sighs> I can't. So, I can't any tell words which from one Optimus? Oh, excuse me. So. Any word from Optimus? I can't tell which one of them is more childish. The one that the, the one that's being a total Karen or the one who literally just walked away like a child who just got put in punishment. <laughs> He's investigating recent Decepticon activity. Hopefully an energon mine. I love how he can fly in his non-vehicle form now. That's actually really cool. But how the heck's he supposed to get in there? Turn to a wheel thing. Yep, yeah, there you go. Vehicle. A wheel thing. What is wrong with you today? would it be if you all had jetpacks like Optimus? Quite rad. Right! Well, but the forge has been depleted of its power to do that. Now it's only good for pounding out dings. Mm -hmm. Hey! It's our boy! Soon to be New Prime. Smokescreen? And he looks super different too. Look at that color palette. Oh, what gave me away? Duh. Come on! Robots in disguise, right? Uh, it, nah. <laughs> Where have you been, soldier? As a car, it looks good, but he just looks ugly. He just looks ugly now. Scanning new war paint. Thought it'd be proactive to follow Optimus's lead. Nah, hey, Bob, bro. Please. Now you can look your best while stacking those empty cubes. Dang. Yes, sir. He is the second man. Prime, but somehow I'm still a rookie. Right. What was that about a prime? Uh, no, time. Time to stop acting like a rookie. Mm hmm. Right, like, he should be the second, not the guy who. Smokescreen was the only one who went back. If it weren't for him, Optimus might not be with us today. Mm hmm. RC, we were under the strictest of orders. The three of you had your human partners to protect. But we are fortunate that Smokescreen is inexperienced enough not to have followed protocol. Right. <laughs> he's just, he's a pesky little guy. There, I can see it. Oh, gosh. Heck is this? Abandon the excavation. Why? Now. Why? Oh, that's why. Why do they why do they wail in such an odd key? Is this is so I can't run. I can't even what does that even sound like? Really? That doesn't even sound like anything else. That is a unique sound right there. Optimus, did you find Energon? Nah. No, but I did uncover this. And they broke it. Now it's... Ugh. It cannot be. It looks like a little relic that resembles another insect, so I can only assume that it's meant to control the Insecticons. The what? The ancient remains of a Predacon. Oh! Oh, frick! That's worse! 
Though it remains unclear why such a skull would be found why? on your planet, its presence reveals all too much about the Predacon which Megatron recently sent in pursuit of us. Mm -hmm. You mean that dragon bot we put on ice? Mm -hmm. Except that Predacons have been extinct since, well, since before most life began on Cybertron. Yeah. They're like Earth's dinosaurs. Exactly. Which means for you guys, running into one would be like us meeting a T-Rex. Yeah. So then what were Dinobots? Totally different. Dinobots. With Megatron's seeming new interest in the excavation of what? prehistoric... So there actually are Dinobots. <laughs> there are Dinobots and there are Predacons. And they're different... Th Skeletons. And a certain scientist back among the Decepticon ranks. It would stand to reason. That Shockwave cloned the beast from one such find. Which he's gonna now do Megatron's again. Megatron's looking to clone another. What makes you think Buckethead would stop at just one? Right. We could have Beast Wars on our hands. And if Shockwave only requires a single strand of CNA from which to clone a beast... He broke it. He already possesses what he needs to engender this one. Mm-hmm. Autobots... We must become beast hunters. Who? One he, thing still doesn't follow. He said the title. Predacons went extinct on Cybertron. So what would their bones be doing here? Mm. On Earth? I mean, isn't it just a little preposterous? They are not the remains of Predacon, Starscream. But rather, the remains of Predacon clones. Oh, you see... Excuse me? They cloned Predacons and then sent them here? Our recent Autobot Hunter wasn't the first bestial super soldier Shockwave ever attempted to breed from prehistoric matter. Oh. During the war for Cybertron, I sanctioned the dispatch of a small army of these Predaclones to Earth to unleash the beasts on unwitting Autobot forces stationed here. Oh. Once they accomplished their mission, the surviving Predacons held Sentinel on this very world for ages to come. And then they died. Guarding the Energon reserves they had managed to secure while awaiting my arrival. Of course, our reunion here was much delayed, and it would seem we lost the beasts to the ravages of time. Mm -hmm. But not their endomatter from which I am logically able to extract their very CNA. I see. <laughs> Another scavenger hunt. How logical would it really be to locate all the dusty remains of your former pets? I mean, it'd be pretty logical given that they could use those pets to, you know, hunt down all the Autobots individually. It took two of them to beat one Predacon, and then it took a warp gate to destroy that Predacon. So if you have one Predacon for each Autobot, then they're much more likely to lose. So, very logical. Very, very logical. You are not suggesting that I would send my creations to a distant planet without first having them microchipped. Oh! Well, well I was. But, seriously, you did? Right. That's, yeah, that, wow. from our historical texts. But those are metal versions of creatures from our Greek mythology and medieval literature. Mm -hmm. Not dinosaurs. It would stand to reason that Predacons did indeed walk upon this earth in ancient times, as they seem to have been the basis for much of humankind's folklore, mm. illustrating once again that the pasts of Earth and Cybertron are inextricably linked. Naturally. No Selena Gomez, featuring the scene. No, and the scene. Yes, they're together, not feature. Synthetic Energon? <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution. Indeed. I am concerned that without access to any Energon reserve since our base was destroyed, our ability to deal with impending crises will be severely hampered. Mm. A wise decision, old friend. Just please. Manage your expectations. Don't get hurt. I am working with even more rudimentary hardware than before. Prime! Satellite surveillance has picked up two signs of Decepticon activity. One near an oil field outside of El Paso, the other near the Hebrides Bluffs in Scotland. Hmm. Scotland? So don't forget to pack your kilts. 
We must divide our resources. Ultra Magnus, lead the wreckers to the bluffs. Mm. Yes, Optimus. Uh, what's a kilt? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Agent Fowler can at times be oblique. Mm. I find it best to simply nod and mobilize. Exactly. Bulkhead, will ya? <laughs> Just smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. Let's roll. I love these guys. <sighs> he said, I don't freaking know, and I'm not gonna ask. Optimus, I know there are many emotions tied to the forge. This is no time to stand on ceremony. Mm. I would be honored to put this to some practical use. All right, we're gonna use it as a weapon. Let's rock. The Wreckers are an awesome team. I will search this quadrant. What about RC? Did she just stay at the base? Is RC just chillin' like a cr like a villain like Krillin? Hey, B, have you ever thought you might want to be a prime? Nah. Not now. Someday. Not right now. Nope, not at all. Warrior. Yeah, <laughs> you and me both. But I've seen you in action. Optimus knows you can scrap with the best of them. Why won't he just promote you from Scout already? Your choice. Mm-hmm. Huh. So why wait? Guess it would be more meaningful to graduate back home. Exactly. On Cybertron. But... You're one patient guy. I should take a cue. So Bumblebee is... Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Bumblebee would definitely be the next in line to become a Prime, but... Oh, these are just lackeys. They'll they'll go down easy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, these are just little baby lackeys. Not even not even an issue. <laughs> Bam! Literally nothing. Garbage. Straight. Go <laughs> I love how they're confused. The heck did he go? Yeah, it you're underneath an excavator. Jeez. Ooh. What the Okay. Well, like I said, you got nice chops for a scout. For a scout, that's not that is not a compliment. God dang it! No, we should have brought our seat. Wow. Oh. His energy beams are much more powerful than theirs. I think we should run. He just ignited the whole freaking oil rig. Screw this place. Jesus. How epic was that? Very. Oh, bull crap. Go get him. You're not fast enough to stop these two. They're both race cars. 
Is he gonna destroy the bridge? Whoa! Oh, frick. Really? You really think you can hit him? Right in the right in the gun, right? Oh! Oh, good lord. Oh! Dang, man! You couldn't keep Woo! your And that's why he's a prime. He's just gonna keep talking about this because he doesn't know how to feel about it. What the? Oh, laser beam! Crud! Why are they sending backup? No! Somebody go get him! Guys, be serious! Go fight the actual person. Leave the leave the drone for later. Yeah, go trip him up. Oh, dang. Ah! Okay, that's kind of funny. The way he just, ugh, go away. You better not get hit by that. You'll friggin' die. Right, destroy that stupid thing already. Did Laserbeak just take him? No! Are you serious? Laserbeak just defeated Optim. Why do you have to lose every fight? No! Okay, obviously Shockwave is much fast, much stronger than these two, but he's not faster. You can evade him. There we frickin' go! God dang it, let go! He's gonna break. You're gonna break it. Ah, oh, no. That's all. Optimus, get it! Yay, boy! If Laserbeak comes in and takes this thing, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. What? Are you see? No. Bull. We crap. Have all that we need. single strand of CNA. If they just killed Soundwave, then this war would have been over a million years ago, man. If they... Literally, if they killed Soundwave, the entire Decepticon Legion would fall apart. It doesn't even matter who else they have, because Soundwave runs mostly everything on the, elect on the electronic side. Not even gonna lie. And... That's why Soundwave rules. He can't be killed. I understand that you engaged Optimus Prime in the field. Only in order to secure the specimen, Lord Megatron. I believed that you had perished once, my most prized engineer. And I highly doubt that Project Predacon can be completed without you. Mm -hmm. I shall leave the fetching of bones to Starscream. And yes, yes. <laughs> I... I love that. I love that Megatron's being smart, because usually these guys do some pretty dumb crap. But that's actually a really valid concern. I understand that you fought against a bulked-up Optimus Prime, 
even though he was one of the few people who could definitely kill you if he want if he wanted to. You stay here so we can actually complete the freaking project, or else we're not gonna have a foot in the race anymore. Okay? Don't freaking go there. Do not fight him, or else you will lose. <laughs> Confine myself to my laboratory in order to accelerate results. Please do. Excellent. Jeez. For I am rather impatient to witness my army of beasts trample humankind underfoot. Another great episode. Oh, yeah. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Transformers Prime. I know that you've been waiting too long, and I apologize. Optimus Prime. He is going like defeating bad guys, maintaining his pride. And I'm in Othello, so come and say hello if you're in the Metro East. Although I know that most of you live on the East Coast, it is what it is. You are loved, you're appreciated, you can do amazing things, keep being great. I don't have anything else for you. I am out. Peace.